Alhamdulillah Nahmadu ta'ala wa nasta'inu wa nasta'gfiru Wa na'udhu billah min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina Min yahdi allahu fuwa muhtad Wa min yudlil falahadiya lah Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدع وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة وأهلها في النار وعياذ بالله وإياكم من النار يا أيها الذين آمنوا واتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجال كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تسألون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن الأسلك الحديث كتاب الله وخيرا وخيرا هدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدع وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة وأهلها في النار أيها المسلمون. We live in a time of great trials and tribulations and many difficulties that we face as an ummah and we're in need of a solution and we're in need of success. في الدنيا والآخرة in this life as well as the hereafter وأوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل and I advise myself first and then you my brothers and sisters in Islam 
with fearing Allah Azza wa Jal, coming back to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Because in fact, no matter how many votes we have, no matter how many marches we make, no matter how many protests, no matter how many phone calls, how many rebellions, all the things that are going on in the dunya and that the Muslims face, that it won't do any good without this success that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated for us. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم فإن تنزعتم في شيء فردوه إلى الله ورسوله إن كنتم تؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر ذلك خير لكم وأحسن تأويلا Allah the Almighty said and he addressed the mu'mineen, the believers. He said, O oh, you who believe, follow, obey Allah and obey the Messenger. And those charged in authority amongst you. And if you differ over a matter, then return it to Allah and His Messenger. If you believe in Allah, and the day of judgment, that is better for you and the final determination. That ayat right there is sarih, nas sarih. This is a text from Kitab Allah, which is very clear for us on how to rectify our situation. Because we have differences. There's no way we can deny it. We differ over our race. We differ over our nationality. We differ over our tribe. We differ over our madhab. And even the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم, now differs over the creed. Not even on the kitab or sunnah we don't agree. So we have to go back to what the Prophet said. And what Allah Azza wa Jal called us to. Qal ibn Kathir rahimahullah ta'ala regarding this ayat. Qal, Allah. فَاتَّبِعُوا كِتَابُهُ He said, following or obeying Allah is practicing or following the kitab. Kitab Allah Azza wa Jal. The Qur'an is the book of Allah. It's the divine speech of Allah and there's not a harf in there that's a mistake or anything. It's perfect. And you must believe that Ahli Iman. Then, قَالَ Ibn Kathir, وَأَتِيُ Rasul. And follow or obey the messenger. Ay, khudu sunnatuhu. He said, obey the messenger. What, what does this mean? Taking from his sunnah. Because we don't have the Prophet ﷺ with us in this room. Alayhi salatu wasalam. The Prophet ﷺ, he died. Alayhi salatu wasalam. So we can't supplicate to him. But how do we follow the messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam? We follow his sunnah. We follow his path. We follow his madhab, his minhaj. ثُمَّ قَالْ وَأُولِي أَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ And those charged in authority over you. أَيْ فِيمَا أَمَرُوكُمْ بِهِ مِنْ طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ لَا فِي مَعْسِيَةِ اللَّهِ فَإِنَّهُ لَا طَاعًا لِمَخْلُوق فِي مَعْسِيَةِ الْخَالِقِ Then Shaykh, uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Kathir said, رحمه الله تعالى, he said, and following those who are charged in authority over you. Meaning, in what they commanded you that has to do with obedience to Allah. And that there is no following anyone in disobedience to Allah. For verily, there is no obedience to the creation at the expense of obedience to the Khalik, the one who created this. And as Ibn Kathir said in another ayat, he said, Al-Khalik lihadihil ashya, when he described, uh, uh, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about uh, all the, the beautiful things in creation and the signs of creation, Ibn Kathir said, Al-Khalik lihadihil ashya huwa mustahik lilibada. The creator of all of those things, he is the one who has the right to be worshipped alone.
The Salaf of this Ummah, the pious predecessors, Rahimahumullah Jami'an, they state that Taqwa, Taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, is obeying the commandments of Allah and avoiding His prohibitions. And since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us in the ayat that we mentioned to obey Him and obey the Messenger, then that is from Taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. If you obey Allah, and obey the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, that's from Taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And that's one of the arkan al-Iman, one of the six pillars of Iman, that all of us believe in. Mada qala Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam, asked him about Iman. Qal, al-Iman wa tu'mina billahi wa malaykati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyawm al-akhir, wa tu'mina bi qadri khayrihi wa shar. The Prophet ﷺ said that Iman, it is to believe in Allah. And it is to believe in the angels. And it is to believe in the books. And it is to believe in the messengers. And to believe in the day of judgment. And to believe in the divine destiny, the qadr, the khayri, wa shar. The shahid here, the point being that that first pillar is believing in Allah. And then also believing in the messengers. So we have to believe in them. And we have to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if we want the success. Qali Imam Malik rahimahullah ta'ala, he said in a beautiful statement, which, which sums up what we need to do. Qal, la yaslahu. Akhri hadhi umma illa bima salaha awlaha. Okay, maqal. Imam Malik said, which means that this nation, this Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will not be rectified except with that which the people before us were rectified with. Meaning the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And those who followed them in righteousness, like the tabi'een with tabi'at tabi'een. Qala Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Prophet ﷺ said, The best people is my generation, then those who followed them, then those who followed them. Don't be deceived by the shaitan, my brothers and sisters. And think that we have a new way, a new sabil to go to that's going to give us success. That we're going to now follow parliamentary elections and that's going to give us Kitab sunnah la, and success in this life. No, it won't. That now we can make fatwa and say it's permissible to get one house on riba, or we can get one masjid on riba, or one markaz of dawah on riba. How? How does this go with kitab Allah? And, and this is a qaida azim. Anytime you hear a fatwa, or a sheikh, or anyone say anything, you call of kitab wa sunnah from the extent of your ability, at least ask someone else of knowledge to make sure. Because everyone, their goal, Kama Qala Imam Malik in another statement, he said, everyone's statement, he was teaching the Haram in the Haram in Medina. Masjid al Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said, he pointed to the grave of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he said that everyone's statement can be rejected except Sahiba had a cover. Or had a sahiba had a cover. He said everyone's statement can be rejected except the inhabitant of that cover, of that grave, was the Prophet. Qala Imam Babahari Rahimahullah Ta'ala, a great Imam of the third century, he said, Al Islam huwa sunnah. Was sunnah to heal Islam. He said, Islam is the sunnah. And the sunnah is Islam. And you can't have one without the, without the other. Absolutely not. So beware of those people who say, we only follow the Qur'an. Because if they follow the Qur'an, they would have to follow the sunnah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, wa Allah wa ati rasul. Wa in ayats kathir. Many, many ayats. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to follow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَرَسُولُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَسَلَّمُ قَالَ شَيْخَنَا إِمَامْ مُكْبِلْ بِنْ هَذِيَ الْوَادِعِي اللَّهِ يَرْحَمُهُ قَالْ دَعْوَةَ أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ هِيَ دَعْوَةٌ مِنْ كِتَابِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا كِتَابِ اللَّهِ 
ومن سنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم إلى سنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم. The great Imam رحمه الله تعالى said. He said our da'wah, he said the da'wah of Ahlul Sunnah, because all of us here, walillahi alhamdulillah, are Ahlul Sunnah. He said da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is that we call from the book of Allah, from the Qur'an, to the Qur'an. And we call from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam. Have a da'wah to now. We don't call to ourselves, because we're going to go. The fame and the fortune you get, it's going to go. But we call the kitab illah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the ulama, they say that this is confined to three things, restricted to three things. It requires that when we say we follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it requires that we اتسام بكتاب وسنة that we adhere to the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it also requires from us that we we follow that it's muqayyid, that it's restricted to the methodology of those who came before us, the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. This is where we take our creed, this is where we take our manners, this is where we take our economics, this is where we take our political politics, this is where we take our political philosophy. All of it comes back to the early pious predecessors. And the original jama'ah from Ahl sunnah is the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. قال الله تعالى في كتاب الكريم واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us commands us as brothers واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا adhere to the rope of Allah or grab on to the rope of Allah and do not divide the ulama say حبل الله the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's Kitab wa Sunnah. That's the Quran and the Sunnah. So if we want that success, just read the Quran. Go back to the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and try to implement that in your lives. But at the same time, remember, again as we mentioned, that you have to go back to the understanding of the Sahaba and how they practiced it. رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. قال عليه الصلاة والسلام. قال افتركت اليهود على إثنى وسبعين فرقة، وافتركت النصارى على إثنتين وسبعين فرقة، وستفترك هذه أمة ثلاثة وسبعين فرقة كلها في النار إلا واحدة. قال من هي يا رسول الله؟ قال من كان على مثل ما كان عليه وصحابي. The Prophet Ali after the Salat Wasalam said the Jews would break into seventy one sects, the Christians into seventy two sects, and my Ummah into seventy three sects. All of them in the fire. Why? All of them in the fire except one. Then the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, those who are upon my sunnah and the sunnah of my companions, letting us know we need to be, we need to follow what the companions of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with a class with a bat. Aqulu kuli hadha wa staghfirullah azza wa jal. الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم قال الله عز وجل في كتابه الكريم ولا تكون كالذين تفرقوا واختلفوا من بعد ما جاءتهم البينة وأولئك لهم عذاب عظيم يوم تبيض وجوه وتسود وجوه الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم قال and do not do not be like those who divided and they differed after the clear guidance came to them that they are those who have a painful torment on the day when faces will be white full of light and other faces will be dark full of darkness qala ibn abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qala tabyad wujuh أهل السنة والجماعة وتسود وجوه أهل البدعة والفرقة ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنه رضي الله تعالى عنهما said he said that in the meaning of this ayat he said 
tabiyadu wuju, meaning that the faces would be light, that's, those are the faces of Ahl Sunnah. Those aren't the faces of the people who make it a part of their religion to curse the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in, la abadan. That's not there. They're not going to have those, those white and bright faces that the, that, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, or that Ibn Abbas mentioned in the hadith. And then he said, وَتَسْوَدُوا وُجُوهُ And the faces that will be dark on that day, those are the faces of people who went against the, the Amr al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They went against the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They differed. They said, no, I know the sharia says this, but I think we can now take interest for this reason. No, 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 no. The sunnah of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says we should be brothers, but I think I only should help my, my people and my tribe. Only black people, or only this tribe, or only that tribe. La. That's not what Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Inna Allah la yandru ila adsadakum, wala ila surakum, wala kin yandru ila kulubukum wa amalakum. The Prophet alayhi after salatu wa salam said in the authentic hadith, he said, Verily Allah does not look to your, 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 your look and your color or your, your shape. But verily he looks to your, to your, uh, to your deeds and your heart. And as the Prophet sallallahu said in another hadith, Allah wa qalb. He said, verily it's the heart. And he said before that, inna fi jizid mudghatin, ida salaha salaha jizid kulu, ida fasada fasada jizid kulu, Allah wa qalb. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, verily in the, in the body is a morsel of flesh. That if it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. And if it is sick, the whole body is sick, and barely it's the heart. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to look at our taqwa. He doesn't care about uh, your position in society, how many houses you have, what, what nationality you are, what race, what tribe, what... He doesn't... That's nothing to Allah Azza wa Jal. The Prophet... Alayhi afdal salatu was salam said, or Allah Azza wa Jal said fi kitab al kareem, wa min yashakik al rasul min baadi ma tabayin alahu huda, wa yatabi ghayr sabila mu'minin, nawalihi ma tawalla wa nuslihi jahannam wa saat masira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that those people who differed with the Messenger, after clarity and guidance came to them, and they followed a path other than the Sabila Mu'mineen, other than the path of the Mu'mineen. Then we will keep them on the path that they have chosen, and they will be burned in Jahannam. And what an evil destination. Wa'iyadhan billah min dhalika. The Sabila Mu'mineen is the path of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een. Had a Sabila, 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 uh, uh, najah. That's the sabil or the path of success. It's following the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. Qala alayhi salatu wa salam, ittaqu Allah wa alaykum bisa'mi wa ta'ah. Wa in abdin habashiyan. Fa innuhu man ya'ish minkum ba'li fa sayyara ikhtilafin kathira. Fa alaykum bisunnati wa sunnat al-khulafa rashidin al-mahdiyin wa adwa, adu alayha bi nawajid. The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa salam said, He said, fear Allah, attaqullah. And it's upon you to hear and obey. To hear and obey. Who, who do we hear and obey? The Muslim authority. Even if he's oppressive, it's better to obey the leader in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and not have the societies torn apart and folda and fitna and bloodshed like we see in Syria, like we saw in Iraq, like we saw in Afghanistan, like we continue to see. But it's better to follow Sabila Mu'mineen. Follow that path. So the Prophet والسلام, said, Hear and obey, even if the leader was an Ethiopian slave. For verily those people who live after me will see many differences. And wallahi, look at this hadith. As I'm, think, as I'm saying it right now, I'm just reflecting on our situation. Because wallahi, probably after this khutbah, I know some people might approach me and say, SubhanAllah brother, why can't we revolt? revolt? Why isn't it good we protest in downtown Seattle and ask uh, non-Muslims to help us? Help us save uh, the Muslims. Why this, why that? The Prophet said, فَسَيَرَاءَ اِخْتَلَافٍ كَثِيرًا You're going to see many differences. 
But then he gave us a solution. فَعَلَيْكُمْ sunnati. It's upon you, my sunnah. وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَاءَ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِيِينَ And the sunnah of the rightly guided predecessors are the khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in. Did we see them protesting? Did we see them revolting? Did we see them having democratic parliamentary elections? No, we didn't see that. And they could have did it. They could have did it in their own way. They could have protested the Quraysh. Quraysh, please let us call the tawheed. La. They called the tawheed. They busied themselves with Kitab Allah with Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They called the Khair. They, they, they busied themselves with Ilm, with Fiqh. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man yuridullahu bihi khayran yafiqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him Fiqh or understanding of the religion. The Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, Man salaka tariqan yal talmisuhu bihi ilman sahlallahu luhu tariqan yal jannah. The Prophet Alaihi Afdal Salatu Wasallam said, that whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make for him the path of Jannah easy for him. So if we busy ourselves with Elm, we busy ourselves with rectifying the com- community so we can have an Eid on the same day, so we can begin fasting on the same day, so we can do the small things together as one community. Look at all the Muslims we have now, Alhamdulillah, in Seattle, Ni'mazim. But we have to have some mahabba between us. We have to unite based on Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As you mentioned in the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al-Kareem, Wa'atasimu bi habdillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. Adhere to the rope of Allah, all of you together, and do not divide. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Man ahdatha fi amrina hadha malaysa minu wa furrad. Whoever innovates in this matter of ours, we'll have it rejected. Letting us know if we try to bring something new, a new methodology, a new form of da'wah, a new type of thing that relates to ibadah, or relates to those things which the people before us didn't know, or didn't, didn't, have, uh, didn't make uh, affirm for us, then we should leave it, because it's going to be rejected. We don't want our deeds to be rejected. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is what he said, before this, the Prophet ﷺ said, "Men on sunnati falaysa minni. Whoever desires other than my sunnah, he's not from me. The Prophet ﷺ used to say during his khutbah, "Qal amma ba'd, fa inna al-khayr hadith, kitab Allah wa khayr hadi hadi Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa sharu al-mu'ri muhtathatuha, wa kullu muhtathatin bid'a, wa kullu bid'atan dalala, wa kullu dalalatan fi nar Or kama qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet used to say that every khutbah. Why? Just, just to say it? Because it sounded good, it was a nice uh, decoration for the speech. Abedin. The Prophet ﷺ said that for guidance for us, that we have to come back to Kitabillah. We have to come back to Rasul, Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I'm going to end on this last hadith of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Qala Ali afdal salatu wa salam. Qal, inni qad taraktu fikum shay'in. Lan tudillu ba'dahima. Kitabillah wa sunnati. The Prophet ﷺ said, I've left you on two things. And that if you stay on that, you won't be misguided. It's the book of Allah, and it's my sunnah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to forgive us of all of our sins and bless the Muslims everywhere. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the, the Muslims in uh, Africa, in Ethiopia, to be uh, protected from the Ahbash and those other groups who want to belittle Ahlul Sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslims in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Egypt, in Iraq, and wherever they're experiencing fo- uh, Fawdah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with khair fi dunya wal akhira. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adhaab al nar wa aqeem al salat. Allahu Akbar Allah.